Hey, welcome to the show. Today on the show, I'm going to show you two different ways on how to divide a number. All right, let's begin. All right, how many times can I put seven into six? Can't do it. So then you have to move over to the next number. Seven goes into 69. Let me see, seven times seven is 49. Let's move it up. Seven times 10 is 70. Bring it down. Seven times nine is 63. I think we're going to stick there. All right, let's stay with seven times nine. So seven times nine is 63. Subtract. Nine minus three is six. Bring the next number down, just drop it down, okay? So then I go, how many times can I put seven into 67? I think it's good. we're gonna use the nine again. So go ahead and put a nine here. Nine times seven is 63. Subtract. Seven minus three, four. All right, I do not have any other numbers to drop down, so this is going to be my remainder. So I'm gonna go ahead and put remainder four right there. All right, let's move on to this other way of dividing. This way is you're gonna be using these three numbers, one, two, and five. I think the reason why we're using these numbers it is it's, it's, it's just so much easier to multiply if you don't know your multiplication facts. So you, everybody can multiply by ones, uh, twos are very easy, and fives, five, 10, 15, 20. Now, when we take a look at the one and the two and the five, remember this little trick here. You can add a zero to it. So it's gonna be 10, and this might be 20, and this might be 50, okay? All right, let's get, this is like a puzzle, it really is. So I need to figure out how many times I can take one of these numbers right here times this number and come to a close number. I think our first number would be probably 50, all right? So what is 50 times seven? So five times seven is 35, add the zero, and that would be 350. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 350 right here. And I'm going to subtract that. Now, I used the number 50, and I wanna put 50 right to the side here. All right, now go ahead and subtract. So I bring the seven here four, and three. Now you're saying, wow, that's a big number. It, this is like a puzzle. It, it's all gonna work out in the end. So again, 50 times seven into 347, no. So then I drop it down to 20. What is two times seven? 14. What is 20 times seven? 140. So I'm gonna put 140 right here. Subtract. This is seven, zero, two. All right. I used the 20, so I'm gonna put 20 right here. I can still take 140 out of 207, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put 140 here, put my 20, and go ahead and subtract. Now I need to do a little borrowing, and this is 67. How many times can I put seven into 67, you see, seven times 10, nope. What about seven times five? Seven times five would work. I'm gonna put five right here. All right, so that would be 35. All right, I'm gonna start writing a little smaller so I'm running out of space here. And five, six, seven would be two and three, okay? Can't put five times seven into 32, so I'm gonna try two times seven which would be 14, all right? And don't forget to put the two right here. So I need to borrow, this will be a two, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and one, all right? So I can still take another two times seven. Bring this line down here, two, all right? Subtract that, and that would be four. Now, this is, kind of, like I said, this is like a puzzle. So I'm gonna go ahead and add up all these numbers, and this number right here is going to be my remainder. So I have 50 plus 20 plus 20 plus five plus two plus two. So 50 plus 20 is 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, with a remainder of four. Same answers. Different process, which one do you like? Hey, leave a uh, comment down below in the, in the uh, comments. <laughs> and uh, let me know what you think. Which one do you like better? Do you like 
the traditional way or do you like the newer way? For me, um, I think I like doing it the traditional way. It's a little bit faster. But this one allows you to not know all your multiplication facts and maybe it kind of makes it a little bit funner. It's, this is, a, this is a, a, like a puzzle, so try it out. Um, it's a lot of fun. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I hope you like my videos. I would love if you would subscribe and always have a beautiful, fun day. Adios.